then you're going to say that applies to everybody. It's specifically, name, it's specifically naming nations here. How are you going to take that and apply it to anybody? It don't apply to no other nations. Go on. Right. Let's see what the new covenant is talking about. Verse 32. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Yeah, not according to that covenant because that covenant the Lord was given to us on tablets of stone. The Lord was given to us on tablets of stone and what happened was we couldn't keep the Lord 100% because the Heavenly Father didn't program us to keep the Lord 100%. That it was set up for us to go off as soon as the Romans 8 chapter and 20 verse. Which the Lord will probably put that up in post-production. Um, which my covenant they break although break, we broke the laws. Um, although I was an husband unto them save the Lord um, but this should but this should be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days save the Lord again this could be the covenant I'm gonna make with the house of Israel for an older tribe you didn't say Edom you didn't say Ishmael you didn't say Ham you didn't say Japheth he said, Elon, Moab, and Ammon. He said, Israel. Go on. I will put my law in the inward parts. Right, the Heavenly Father is going to put his laws in our inward parts. Meaning what? He's going to put it in our minds. He's going to put it in our spirit. The Heavenly Father is going to program us to be 100% completely righteous. Israel, not all nations. Israel. So how are you going to go and read this, but then you're going to somehow say the kingdom is for everybody? You people out there don't know nothing, man. You really think you really think that you can take the scripture and apply it to all the nations? They clearly said Israel. Go on. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and I will be their power. Mean mine. Go on. Right. And I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Go on. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the know the Lord. For they shall all know me from the least of them until the greatest of them. We're not going to teach each other about the Lord because we all know the Lord. From the least of us to the greatest of us. So we ain't going to have, we're not going to be setting up camps in the kingdom. In the kingdom. Not going to be doing shows. We're not going to have to worry about that because we all want to know the Lord. We all have to the of the Most High, of the Scripture. Go on. For I, for I will forgive their iniquity. Yep. And I will remember they sin no more. He said you're going to forgive Israel and remember they sin no more. But somehow, now when was that going to take place? For, for one, when the Lord came and died on the cross. So if you're going to remember this, Israel sin no more, how are you going to sit there and say that when the Lord died on the cross, you died for everybody? You know? Can we get um, what, Hebrews? Yeah, Hebrews stuff from on verse 7. Alright, um, it's Hebrew chapter 8 verse 7. Yep. For if the first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Yeah. For finding fault with them. Yeah, for finding fault with them. It wasn't the Lord that found fault, it was us that found fault in the law. Because we couldn't keep it 100% perfectly. Go on. He saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. When I will make a new you know covenant. Let's get, let's get Romans 8 and 20. Let's go to the court in a couple times. Um, oh, yes, Romans 8 and 20. Which is the creature that said it's a Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Romans 8 and 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity. The creature is, is another name for creation. The real creation of the Heavenly Father. The creature was subject to vanity. Go on. So we were subject to go off. Right. We were subject to go off. The Heavenly Father knew what he was doing from the very beginning. Because had the Heavenly Father had given us the kingdom from the very beginning, the other nations would have been slaves. But what would the other nations have had done to go into captivity? The Heavenly Father is a righteous power. He's a righteous power. That, for example, the Heavenly Father, he put us in the captivity of the Egyptians, but what did he do? He hardened Pharaoh's heart to keep us, to try to keep us in Egypt. And then even when he allowed Pharaoh to let us go, he hardened Pharaoh's heart once again to chase to hunt us down. Why? So that when the Heavenly Father took down Pharaoh and the Egyptians, so that his name would be known throughout the earth. So the Heavenly Father can do that. He can set you up for certain purposes. The Heavenly Father set us up for the purpose of going off. Yes. So that way, you know, you have a deliverer, so the exactly. purpose of your house shall come. Exactly. You know? And then, you know, your house shall, well, 
you know. Who the most, world called Jesus Christ. Yeah, who, who the world labor at Jesus Christ. And most how put everything under subjection of Yahweh Shah. Exactly. I tell you that in 1 Corinthians 15. Right. So everything we put in subjection of Yahweh Shah. And also, so that we know both spectrums, both good and evil. Because yeah. knowing both good and evil, then that gives you the opportunity, what, to judge. But you're going to be judging. Because yeah. another word for judge, judges is what? Gods. We are, we are, we are gods. Yeah. That's how you study Psalm 82 and 6. Yeah. Because it is what good. Because after we get, because scripture says that we're going to be a nation of kings and priests, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if we, we're all priests, you know, so who are we going to be priests to? Ourselves? No. We're going to be priests to mother nations, you know? The scripture yeah. says, you know, we're going we're gonna to teach them the law, yeah. you know? And they're going to have to pay tithes, yep. tributaries, yeah. you know? Um, they're they gonna, gonna get the best of their uh, the, uh, their daughters, yep. you know, the best of their wine, yeah. you know. They we gonna force them to keep the Sabbath days and yep. the high holidays. And check this out: the new covenant is only for Israel for the Lord to be a name with part. So what happened? We gonna be doing one hundred percent righteousness. The, yeah. the, the other nation will be messing up. It's still gonna be going on forever. Forever. Yeah. So, so, so what does the scripture tell you when um Revelation two and twenty seven tells you that we are gonna break them with a rod and iron? Yep. And that's what we're we doing it on a regular anyway, except for the Sabbath, smashing them in, them in pieces, we're doing nigga wolf, because the other nation's still going to be trying to be fed. Right? Yeah. And we're going to lob your head off. The other nation's going to be sickly worshiping idols. And we're going to lob your head off and beat you to death with that idol. The other nation's going to be eating pork, drinking blood. And we're going to we're gonna have to lay down a judgment on you. Alright? So. That's the, so that shows you right there that the Heavenly Father can choose one nation to be over another. Yeah. He's the most high, man. He can do what he want. You want to that? You got something? No, I'm just trying to get that scripture back. Oh, yeah, yeah this Romans, back to Romans 8 and 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. Yeah, the same in hope. And we was going to have that hope and faith in who? And Yahweh was shot. That's when he's going to receive the kingdom. Verse 21, because the creature itself also should be delivered from the bondage of corruption. That's that's these bodies, you know. Yeah. You no, know, because this, 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 this flesh, you know, like scripture said, um, how, how the mind is desperately wicked. Yeah. So when the Lord takes us out of this, this flesh, we're not going to get those wicked thoughts no more. We're not going to be capable of getting sick. So the most high is going to take, out, take us out of this What's it? Matter of fact, um, Mosai and his son is gonna take us out of this, um, these corruptible bodies. Yep. Quick precept. Um, and there's also bondage under the laws too. Mm -hmm. the scriptures tell you that by being a servant to sin, there's a bondage into sin. But what happens is what? Now we may live, we are free, because we gotta have you having faith in the Lord. We're not under the laws no more, but you still gotta keep the laws to the best of your ability. And we're gonna be taken out of these bodies, because in the kingdom we ain't gonna be we don't go to the kingdom with these regular old bodies. We're gonna be changed. We're gonna be like supermen and superwomen, so to speak. They tell you that in the scriptures. What is that something? Yeah, quick precept. This is Romans 7, I start at 22. For I delight in the law of the most high after the inward man. But I see another law in my in my members warrant against the law of my bond and bring yeah, it. The law in your members mean the law in, in your flesh. He said, we have again? Right. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Yeah, the law of sin, which is in your members, because why? We're in these fleshly bodies. We're in these fleshly bodies, and in these fleshly bodies, but it's subject unto sin. So Paul is saying, in his mind, we got to get from the top? Right. But I see another law in my members. From the top of that, of that verse? Verse 22? Yeah. That you just read? Yes, yeah, it's 23. Oh, okay. From the top. But I see another law in my members. Yeah, go ahead. Warring the against... The law of sin. Yeah. Go on. In your members. Why? Because these bodies are subject unto sin. We ain't these fleshly bodies and these fleshly bodies are subject unto sin. So the Heavenly Father gonna have to change us to make us no longer be subject unto sin. So that then means what? The other nation ain't gonna be changed. They gonna remain the same. They gonna remain in bodies of corruption. They're going, to, they're going to remain in body that's, that's subject unto sin. So Paul is saying he see a law in his body, law in his members. Go on. Warring against the law of my mind. Warring against the law of his mind. Because why? In his mind and his spirit, he wants to keep the laws. 
But why? But what happens? Because we in these fleshly bodies, 